I'm with Lavelle Hawkins, former, uh, well, Edison High alum, uh, Cal graduate and former uh, player in the NFL. Lavelle's now coaching in his second season at his high school alma mater here at Edison. And Lavelle, why come back and, and give back to the kids in, in your community? Uh, for me, um, I feel like it's, um, it's my obligation, you know, and I feel like that's, and that should be everybody's mindset. You know, when you go off and, you know, God bless you to do some different things in life and experience some, di 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 some different things, I feel like it's your obligation to come back and share that. Have you felt a difference here uh, in the last two seasons with with the players, with the with the, the kids, the student body? Uh, I feel like, you know, Edison has always been a tight-knit, like, kind of family. Um, you know, I think the good thing with us being here now with me, Tim Brown, and Najir, and Desmond Bishop, and Orlando is that, you know, we're older, but we're not as old as some of the other coaches around. So we understand, you know, and we, and we, we do our best not to – forget that you know we were 15 and 16 at some point so I think we try to meet the kids half, half uh, halfway and, and just try to let them have fun but also at the, in the same context of things uh work hard you know because in because in life man you're gonna work no matter what it is you do in life if it's sports if it's you trying to be a lawyer doctor if you're trying to be whatever it is you're trying to be you're gonna work for it right. you know so and that's kind of like our message that we're trying to get to the kids. No matter what you do, you're going to have to work, man. With Edison football coach Booker Guyton and coach, having guys back here like Lavelle and Tim, um, guys who have come through this area, you know, Stockton, Edison, yeah. what does it mean having them back here, giving back to the kids? Uh, it's a coach's dream, especially when you've been doing it as long as I have, um, you know, to coach, you know, I had Orlando Evans as my quarterback, you know, Tim played running back for me. Uh, Lavelle was a, uh, you know, big time receiver here in town. And uh, Anthony Baker, you know, those guys have, have all weathered the storm with me before. And to have them come back and continue to, to give back to this community and the school is just it's unbelievable. It's just, uh, it makes your job so much easier. Tell me about the impact they've made. It just seems like there's a, a different culture here. It, it is. And that's one of the things when I came back, we, we wanted to really work hard in changing the perception of, of Edison High School, <coughs> excuse me, in South Stockton. Uh, period, and that's something I've been preaching, in, you know, for as long as they were kids. They finally, you know, Lavelle has taken it to another level uh, because he grew up in this area. He went to school here, and he put his money where his mouth is. He came back and and poured into this community, and uh, you know, and he just wants to do what was done for him. And so, you know, it, it, that that old adage of it takes a village to raise a child, Lavelle is a walking testament of that. Coming off an SJWA <coughs> championship, how, does, how are things looking this year? Uh, we're, you know, we had a setback against Beehawk Colony. You know, it wasn't what we uh, expected to be. But like I told our kids, in spite of everything, we still had a chance to win the ball game. So you can't pinpoint blame one thing or one issue for the reason of the loss. We have to accept the fact that, hey, with less than a minute left to go in the game, we dropped two in the end zone. We still have a chance to, to win. So uh, it's a learning experience. Uh, we had a bye, got a chance to get some kids healthy, and we're looking forward to, to Lodi on Friday and seeing if we can get back in that W column. Drive, drive, drive.